What's going on guys, Fair Mackie here bringing you another video. Let's get into it, let's go deep and keep grinding out there guys. Let's dive into the video, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So, been getting a lot of questions. Where do I get the burning mechanics reactor for Lepic? How do I farm the reactor? Where do I get it? What do I do? So, this is going to be a quick guide on how to target farm and go after the best reactor for Lepic and Ultimate Lepic immediately. And I'm going to do it with the setup that everybody can do with rare weapons, a rare reactor, which is more reasonable and attainable. Obviously, if you looked at my other guide you'll see what the end game should be and what you should be striving for but for now we'll keep it beginner friendly so everybody has access to it because that's where the majority of us are right now in the game it's only been a week you know everybody's got their nine to five so let's get down to the nitty-gritty so the weapon i recommend the moment you reach 40 you unlock you beat the campaign you unlock hard mode go after the tamer machine gun we're assuming that you don't have the thunder cage by then the Thunder Cage is extremely easy to target farm, 20% drop ratio. I strongly recommend doing that as well. But let's say you don't have the time, you don't want to target farm all those parts yet. The content's too difficult to farm for that on hard, which it is. Um, so I highly recommend going with the Tamer Machine Gun. So where do we get the Tamer Machine Gun to begin with? Well, there's multiple zones that can drop it. Uh, one is in the White Knight Gulch. There's another one in the Agna Desert um and there's another one in the fortress but we'll look at the one on white knight gulch so you go to the map and at the observatory over here the mission called um orders occupied facility this mission right here if you scroll all the way down you see there's a 50 percent chance to drop a tamer all right, so you want to come here, do this mission. It takes five minutes or less. Get the tamer. It'll make your life a lot easier going into hard difficulty. Another, let's say you don't want to do that zone, you don't like it, then you can do Agna Desert and go to the uh, um, abandoned reconstruction site. Uh, where is that at? I wrote the zone down, but I guess um, I didn't write this. I wrote the quest down, but didn't write the zone. Uh, so you just mouse over right here. So it's in the remnant. And you scroll down, boom, right there. Tamer will also drop 50% chance to drop here as well. But this is a 15 minute quest. So I recommend you do the other quest that has a five minute. Um, and it also drops in the fortress. <clears throat> Excuse me um on one of the quests here i thought i had written that down to the gate system yeah right here well i dropped some high thermal sources detected this is a five minute mission it also drops from here so there's many other areas and maps that will drop the tamer there's probably easier areas that you can find it um but go to those zones get your tamer right away and then you can get to farm in your reactor to make your life easier for the mobs now as far as the reactor goes how do i know what my reactor is how do i target farm it how do i know where the increased drop ratios are for them which zones so the moment you unlock you finish the campaign you unlock hard mode you go to your map you select hard mode apply then a new menu pops up you press f and here's difficulty level rewards these rewards, I believe, cycle every five days. I'm not sure. So currently, the active rewards will cycle in three days in 14 hours. On the left is the menu all. Then you have all the different eight zones. And what you want to do is you want to filter. Here you can filter by weapon type rounds, which I would not recommend you do uh, yet unless you have the Thunder Cage and you can just filter by general rounds. Right now, for the sake of the video, we'll do all. What you want to do is go to this menu here and filter by fire and filter by tech. Then you see it is, narrows it down to two zones. The zone you want to farm for this is the um, lost supply depot zone right here, which is in the Vespers. 
and the quest is called Captured Base. You scroll down, you see this quest has a 50% chance to drop Burning Mechanics Reactor. Keep in mind, there are half a dozen or more of these quests throughout the eight zones as well that will reward Burning Mechanics Reactor. So why should you only do Vespers right now for the next three days? Because every single mob you kill in Vespers in this area here in the Lost Supply Depot will have an increased chance to drop Burning Mechanic Reactors Rare and Ultimate. And majority of the times you're going to get, if you were to ask me, it's probably more like 70% Ultimate versions of the Reactors and like 30% versions of the Rare. You get an insane amount of Ultimate Reactors. Um, but obviously if you're starting out, you have no Ultimate Weapon, you want to get the rare, you know, rare reactor right away. But definitely save your ultimate reactors if you happen to come across and got lucky patterns for a certain ultimate weapon, which meets the condition, the mounting condition, meaning you have to hold the weapon in your hand to get the 60% skill power boost, then, then equip that. Use that reactor, put on that ultimate weapon, have it in your hand, and you're going to see your damage significantly increase when you cast your grenades, when you cast your ultimate, and your burning ticks, they're gonna do a lot more damage on the mobs, expediting your farm experience. So, highly recommend everybody right now for the three days, if you're looking for your best ultimate reactor, Olepic, um, come to Vespers, do the captured base, you'll double dip, I'll show you uh, what the quest looks like. And this quest only takes two minutes, and that is a hard two minute fight, you have to wait for the full duration. And for the sake of the video, I will put on a tamer myself. I'll carry that in my hand. And I have a rare reactor as well. I do meet the optimization condition of a sniper rifle, which I have equipped on my third hand. The rare reactors for farming, I think, is one of the best because you can have any weapon equipped and it'll allow you to mastery up your proficiency on your other weapons without actually using the required condition weapon. Um, Meaning if you had a proficiency level zero weapon on your first slot in here, uh, you would still get the bonus benefit by um, the bonus benefit for the reactor and you would get mastery points up by using, you know, the tamer. Let's say the tamer is zero, even though the condition here is a sniper rifle, you still get proficiency rating up on your tamer um, as well while getting the 40% skill power boost, which is massive. Okay, so that's the reactor I'm using. This is the weapon I'm using, and we'll start the mission. Like I said, you see the timer at the top? It's a two minute timer. Waves of mobs will spawn in the area here. And what I recommend you doing at the beginning, if the content's too difficult for you, don't use your all your mana casting your fire grenade or your ultimate. Use your mana to cast your uh, traction grenade for CC. You see how long the mobs get CC'd for? And then you can throw your grenade. Um, ha, just what I've been waiting for. That'll make your life easier if you're taking too much damage, you don't have enough health, the mobs are one shot in you. Uh, definitely use your traction grenades to pull them all in and crowd control them. Like that. And if you don't have enough mana to cast your grenade, just CC them. I'll do that here for you guys. I'm not trying to speed or be optimal. I'm trying to show you guys realistically what you'll experience trying to target farm your reactors, right? You're not going to have as much mana, as much health, as much damage. So this is what I recommend you do. Um, CC in the targets with the traction grenade would drastically decrease your damage intake, uh, allowing you to farm and gun the mobs down. If you spend all your mana at once casting all your abilities, then you're going to be zero mana mobs are gonna spawn and they're gonna delete you right uh, that's something you do later when you're speed farming which is what I do uh, but starting out I'd highly recommend saving your mana to cast your um, traction grenade okay we just pull them in there just bad habit with my with my rotation <laughs> with casting traction and cast an overclock and then cast in the grenade um but yeah i i definitely have low cooldown as well so that's why i'm able to cast the traction grenade um a lot more often than you guys would 
Um, but if you work in your gear correctly as you're leveling up in your components and your modules, you should have enough um, you should have enough cooldown reduction. At least you cast it. So mob the mob's gonna come out. I mean the the elites out, the elite abomination. You definitely want to have some mana at the time when he comes out so that way you can just alt him and kill him right away and not die he comes out roughly i believe it's like 30 seconds you can go back in the video and pay attention but around that time you want to have max mana so that way when he comes out you just burn him down and the fight's over and even if you die the respawn point you literally spawn the same location and you kill him right away then you look at your mission rewards and you can see here, I got Burning Mechanics Reactor, which requires the Perforator Ultimate Weapon. I don't have that weapon. I never built it, so that wouldn't be a good mod for me, a reactor for me. I couldn't use it. This one here has Perforator again. This one here has Wave of Light. I don't have any of these Ultimate Weapons, so therefore I would not get the boost on Skill Power. But this one here rolled really good. If you happen to have Wave of Light, uh, Skill Duration Up is really good starting out um you know even in game obviously and we did not get lucky with any rare burning mechanics reactor as a reward from the quest um and i don't think any of them dropped i picked up any of them uh, while killing the enemies no so in that case you would just repeat the quest again rinse and repeat and go right back at it until you get your burning reactor um mechanics reactor okay Anyways, guys, please let me know in the comments below if the guide helped you. And if you'd like to see more, you know, quick guides about where to target this item, where to target that item, and how to get geared right away. But to summarize, grab yourself a tamer, grab yourself a burning mechanics reactor. It can come from any map, um, I, but I definitely recommend you grinding out right now um, Vespers, where the buff is for the next three days in captured base all right you guys keep grinding out there and roll deep Woo!